So, uh, uh, my fault. Actually, it's only four minutes late, but Dr. K told me he wanted to do this four minutes ago. It was supposed to be a, a different time, a little bit. I was doing cardio. I was actually fucking running out there, dude. I like an Instagram story with my friends, but then I ran, and then I ran back just now. And uh, it feels good, though. <laughs> so I'm pretty quiet. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. And I'm going to get a call with him. Um, it's kind of messy in here, dude. Nobody gives a shit, right? All right. Here we go. Call. We're on with track four. Hey, man. Hey. Okay. Um, hey. So I, I ran back. You know, I was outside. I told you. No problem. Do you need a minute? I can answer a question real quick. Answer, yeah. I'll just breathe. Yeah, breathe, dude. Oh, yeah. You guys can still hear me. It's better if I don't talk. It's too quiet. Okay, I'll turn it up. Um, how about now? Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Dude, I f <laughs> Can I? Oh my god. Uh, y you could say whatever you want, man. Okay, so I ran back because Dr. K wanted to do Misgift today after me, which I thought was going to be amazing. I wanted to watch too. So we rescheduled. Uh, we rescheduled a little bit. So I ran back, but now Misgift canceled. <laughs> Right <laughs> or moved. Uh, I guess so. I I don't know what happened. I just <laughs> I just assumed. But thank That's you very funny. much for running back. Should I? So Reckful, you wanted to try to help me answer this question. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a question here, yeah. which is, um, let me just switch real quick. Let's start with a quick question, and then we'll switch over to Reckful. So, how do I know if I should seek therapy for a specific problem? I just turned twenty four, and I haven't had a girlfriend. I've been with girls, but I just can't seem to be able to build a relationship. What do you think, Reckful? I got this. <laughs> okay, so should I really critically think and then answer or just spit out what's coming? Around? Just spit out, dude. Um, okay, so the nice thing about therapy is you, you'll you have all these thoughts going through your head back and forth of like, uh, am I doing the right thing here? Am I doing the right thing here? Uh, well, maybe this is bad. Maybe that's bad. But then you'll just say all your thoughts and then the therapist will kind of lead you in a healthy direction. Maybe give you a few options still, but just the healthier ones. So you could cut out the ones that aren't healthy. So it's like you're playing who wants to be a millionaire. And there's ABCD. I just thought of this analogy. And then you do the 50, 50 thing. The therapist gives you the 50, 50 thing instead of you picking for four options. And then it makes your whole you life seem a lot simpler. So it sounds like you think this person should go to therapy for this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. So be first of all, Reckful, beautifully, beautiful analogy there. Uh -huh. Um, and uh, I, I mean, I so I think that people need to understand that you don't have to have like a particular problem to go to therapy because part of what therapy is about is like Reckful said, helping you narrow down like what the issues are, right? So if you're 24 and you don't have a girlfriend, is it because you just have had bad luck or because you don't leave the house or because you're like, so it sounds like you've been with girls and so you date, but you may have some other kinds of psychological issues kind of going on that prevent you from um going, getting into a relationship. And also like, it could just be that you just haven't met someone that you think is worth having a relationship with. Right. So I, I think going to therapy is like a great idea. If you're, if there's some, if there's some place in your life where you feel stuck and you're not quite sure why or how to move forward, I think therapy is a great option. So that's what I'll, that's what I'll say. So sh should we get started, Reckful? Yeah. I mean, I, I usually would fix the settings a little more. I guess it's fine. All right, yeah, we're okay. good. I, I didn't make my bed or anything. I have a mattress on the floor. No one gives a shit, dude. All right, let's 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 do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. All right, let's do this. All right, I gotta turn it off this. on OBS. And right, then guys, let's... can you hear my mic though? That's the only important setting, really. Everyone can hear my mic. Yeah. That. Okay, and then. I got a new microphone, that's fine. So now, Twitch, <coughs> while we're waiting for Reckful, we're going to do therapy with ourselves. But this isn't therapy, right? So, but I can. Oh, shit, wait. Did you did you disconnect or am I lagging? Nope. I don't think I disconnected. Oh, I can see your audio fine. and video are out of sync for me now. Maybe I'll leave the call and come back. Maybe we should both leave just in case. 
Okay. Okay, I'll move you guys over here. We good? Oh, wait, I'm dumb as fuck. Yeah, I'm uploading seven, my photograph, 79,000 photos on Google Drive, and it's 50,000 photos in. How do I pause it? I only see a cancel button. I actually need your guys' help. <laughs> help. Anyone? Why is um, everyone spamming? Nobody knows. <laughs> Google it. Oh, Alt God 4. damn it, you fuckers. People are saying, host, people oh, saying Alt, Alt F4 is the command that you want to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just keep it uploading. I have fucking fiber. It's fine. It'll work. It'll figure okay. it out, dude. All right, so okay. um, I'm going to go. How you been, man? How am I doing? Yeah. You know, today's great. Uh, but, oh, yeah, I'm happy. You're really leading I'm happy in a good direction, that. honestly. How the fuck do I do this? Okay, so here we go. I, I like, our, so Dr. K and I had an off stream talk two days ago, and I was sober. I say I was sober because I take something that I consider a medication for depression most days. Sure. But, but I was sober when we talked, and I, uh, actually, I want you to describe it. What was your experience? Because your experience will be clearer than mine. Of the conversation? Yeah. Um, so how much context do we want to share about the conversation? Cause I know there are some things in the I conversation. I don't care about anything in there is fine for me to share. So it's all up to you. Well, at one point we talked about something where I have to sign an NDA, right? So we shouldn't talk about that. Oh, okay. Just that. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> okay. But we didn't, I didn't go in depth, so it's fine. Okay. I, I just, um, so I, I wanted to just, um, so what was my impression of the conversation? Yeah, no, you can actually say anything you want to say about anything in the conversation because we I didn't talk about the part with the NDA because you haven't had you sign it yet. Yeah, yeah so okay. whatever whatever you want to say. Um, so, but what what was your question? Fuck, I forgot at this point. <laughs> but, okay, I want to update the viewers on what happened off stream because they missed one therapy session that isn't therapy. It's not therapy, right? Yeah, so, so they missed that's one. actually so what, what we talked about, right? So, so I, I think my impression was we were talking about clarifying what our relationship is. Yeah. And whether this is therapy or this isn't therapy. Yeah. And what our options are in terms of how to form a relationship. And I think that, you know, the last time we talked on stream, um, we had a conversation about abandonment. And then I made a very bold claim because I got emotional as well. And I felt like I wanted to be there for you so that you no longer felt this way. Yeah, and I, really and I think sometimes that. what happens amongst people is that they have different kinds of complexes and I have them too. And one of the things that happens with me is when I see someone hurting, I want to make them better. And sometimes I will in that moment say whatever I think they I can to make them feel better. But sometimes that's irresponsible. Um, and I'm not, I mean, I think in a sense it was irresponsible, but I, I think from our perspective, we're trying to understand you know, like, what is this for you? What is this for me? What are we doing on Twitch? This is like kind of a new thing. And I think a common perception is that if you're talking about feelings with someone, then that is therapy. But I think we can kind of say like, so, so Rekful also shared with me that he had a, a great conversation for several hours with Pokemane. Am I saying that right now? Hmm. Right, where he also talked about feelings and things like that. But I, I don't think that I, I don't think that Pokemane is your therapist. I don't think I'm your therapist. I think you can talk to another human being about feelings and you can explore things that are authentic and important to yourself. And that doesn't necessarily make you a therapist. And so we were also talking about the other options in terms of like, what are we? Are we like colleagues like that, that stream on Twitch together? We'd sort of talked a little bit about, you know, things like viewership and stuff like that. I raised some concerns about favoritism. Um, so I want to try to treat people equally. And I just wanted to kind of acknowledge that if, if one person is coming on stream over and over again, are we doing a disservice to other people? Which I think you are. Um, so I think I shouldn't come on stream over and over again with you every week. Yeah. Is what I realized. So I think, um, and, and so I think that that too, for me, feels like it's closer to a doctor patient relationship, which I think becomes really complicated if you're kind of working with someone week after week, you know? Um, 
And I think the other thing that we expressed is that like, so I, I want to be Reckful's friend, right? So, but if I'm, if I'm your friend, then can I be your doctor? Do I want to be your doctor? Do I want to be your friend? And I think the, the reason that this kind of <clears throat> relates to Reckful is because I think Reckful has, I think he's a very warm, open and caring person and also tangles up his relationships with people. And um, it's something that I actually do too. So I tend to tangle up relationships with people. I tend to not see things in terms of black and white. I'm and listening. that's the reason well, I, I started. Listening. Sure. That's part of the reason I started streaming anyway, because like no, no one talks about feeling like, you know, no therapist or psychiatrist has come live on stream to like talk to people about mental health or their feelings. Like, or maybe it does happen and I just haven't heard of it. But I think that's a little bit unorthodox. And so we basically had a conversation about like, what are the bounds of our relationship? What's acceptable? What isn't acceptable? Um, I don't think I mentioned this to him explicitly, but this was kind of running in my mind. So people forwarded me this clip, forwarded me this clip where um, Reckful said that he would pay a million dollars to to see me do psilocybin. And we didn't talk about that, Reckful, that. right? Yeah. yeah. And, and so I think that's a good example of like, you know, what does that mean? And like, what what's going on there? So like, what are you looking for? And like, so our, our relationship could get real muddy real fast, right? So when people start, and it's not the first time this has happened where people will offer me vast sums of money for X, Y, or Z. And and that just kind of makes me concerned because like, what are we really doing? Um, so we just had a conversation that was, uh, you know, since in the spirit of relationships and you know, a couple of weeks from Valentine's Day, we had a DTR conversation. You guys know what that is? Isn't it a DTR? What's a DTR? I don't even know what that is. What's a DTR? Uh, it, DTF is down. <laughs> Define the relationship. Oh, okay. Right? Um, and, and so I think it's important, right? Because like people, like I, I want to be careful about what we're doing on stream. I want to be, I, I, we're here to help people. But I also don't want to send the wrong message. And I also don't want to leave people hanging. Um, and I think at, at times, uh, I'll I'll let Rackful share sort of what he remembered about it. But I think at times it, the conversation did get pretty emotional. And um, but that's for him to share. Yeah. So I was that, crying. I, I said my piece. He was saying that he wanted to be there for me for the next two years, and that he. But but the problem is that he kind of said it in a flurry flurry of emotion. I don't know if flurry is the word. Uh, while streaming, he was getting emotional himself, and he wanted to be there for me. So he said it, but he hadn't actually thought it through and what that entails because he does, is not a licensed therapist in Texas and just a lot of things, you know, because mm -hmm. you'd have to live in Texas to be my therapist in Texas. Is that how it works? Yeah. So we also did talk about, you know, whether you want me to be your actual therapist and what that would entail. Yeah. And the other thing is that bit of research, which is important to remember, is the, the research on people on BPD. It's two years of someone who's actually a romantic partner. So it's unclear whether so, yeah, I need to get in a relationship with a girl for two years and have it actually work out. And that might cure my BPD with you're saying. I have yeah. BPD. And so so this is this is what we also kind of talked about. I don't know if you remember, but like, you know, you know, it's not about curing and, and the relationship working out. It's about developing not the thinking in these terms. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So 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 exactly. So that's what we need to change. Right. So you think about things in terms of working out or not working out. I think we had talked about, so what's going to happen as you enter relationships is that there are going to be stressful parts and not stressful parts. And if there is a stressful part where your some scar of abandonment gets triggered, yeah. then you may act in a different kind of way. And we can talk about that. Like, I'm curious about, you know, your pr prior relationships and things like that. Um, and as that some scar activates, it causes you to do things that you normally wouldn't do. And those are kind of driven by that that so fear of abandonment. Unprocessed trauma. Unprocessed trauma. Great way to put it. Right. So, so some of the trauma of losing your brother, one brother, and then another brother, like you're terrified that like you'll lose someone else, and so you my try to. Brother still alive. He just means he's not. Yeah. Around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and so I think what what we need to help you do is like use meditation or psilocybin or however you want to, but to gain perspective on those moments and essentially ride out those emotions so that you can like not do something that negatively impacts the relationship. So yeah. we need now to my, help. my mind is stuck on certain things right now. Yeah. So Tell I'm me. stuck on 
I like to get these things solved, I guess. I'm, I don't like to be in the tension so much. Beautiful. Yeah, so I'm in the tension of, is he going to be my therapist or are we going to be friends? Because he said if he's my therapist, we can never travel together anywhere. Like, it, it changes how it is. So I, mm -hmm. I, was, I was thinking it'd be cool. It'd be cool to go to Japan with, with Dr. K. You know, that sounds nice. Yeah, that would mm -hmm. feel nice. Uh, yeah. Just see how he, he experiences things and have fun. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I think it's I really good. want a, a friend, but, you know, then I, I'm thinking longer term. I'll have friends. So what I need is a therapist, maybe. Yeah, so I, I think rather than resolve that issue, Reckful, I think the important thing is that you said something really, really beautiful, right? Which is that you do not like the tension. It's a big problem in my life, yeah. I don't like That's the tension. Every time I'm, I'm around a girl, I like to just have it resolved right away that, okay, this is not going to be anything romantic for sure, or it might. Like, I just want to get so, it out of the way. Let's, is it okay if we talk about that? Yeah, that's a big problem for me in my life, for sure. Okay. So, so why do you need to get it resolved right away? Because I don't like let's being in the Well, okay, let me, uh, hmm. What don't you like about being in the tension? I don't know. I have to figure it out. I have to figure it out. No, no, no I mean, no, we're, no, we're <laughs> I talking about it. We're talking about it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Shit. So, Absolutely. Right. So, so let's think about this because like, here's the thing. If okay. she, if the girl decides to date you, how Which can, I think how it's really funny that I wanted you to figure it out. Yeah. I think they're probably laughing. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I have an answer for you, but I'm, I'm going to sure. try to get you there. Yeah. On you want to get me there yet. Yeah. yeah. So, so if you are, so how comfortable are you if she says yes? Dude. There's some problems. Hold on. I'm a boomer. How the fuck do you scroll up in Twitch chat now? They changed something. I can't scroll up. It just keeps scrolling down. What is this? And also, someone said my mic is too loud. Press control. Now, is my mic too loud? Because this is important to get fixed right away. And someone said I'm cutting him off too much. Okay. Oh. You're cutting me loud. off too much? Yeah, I don't think I'm cutting you off too much. Okay, I need to stop reading it. Okay, so I'll just close it. Okay. Everything's yeah. working. Close, close, close to the chat. chat. Okay, I'm good. Hello. Okay. I'm back. So, Rackful, tell me, how comfortable are you if she says yes? Very comfortable. Yeah. I was really thinking it through. How comfortable are you if she says no? Also comfortable, actually. There we go. Right? So this is important to understand. You'd think... And the word that I'm using is is important, right? So there's comfort. So why are you comfortable with her saying no? Because then I don't have to think about it anymore. I, I'm, I'm, I, it's not what I want to happen. It's not my desired result. But at least I, my mind isn't in the tension. I'm just like, oh, okay. that's that's so I can there's... write it off as something. Yeah, you can write it off. But what's, she's rejecting you, right? Yeah. And you're somehow okay with rejection. Yes. Why? It's not my... Like, it, well, it's not your desired result. I completely agree. Why am I okay How with are it? You okay? Because it's fucking better than sitting there and wondering all the time. That is a given, right? So we're saying that the tension is the problem. Yes. But why is rege outright rejection better than than being left wondering? Which of, I think a lot of people can relate to this. But let's logically, just think about that. Logically, like, it's worse. Logically, yes. it's worse because now I have no yes. chance. And I want exactly. To, That's what one would think. Good. But it, it's really but funny, actually, actually. I love this. I love this conversation. Let's think about it. <laughs> okay, so yes, let's absolutely think about it. There's no hope if she leaves, if she says no, right? At least, like in the tension, in theory, there's hope, and one would think that hope is better than rejection. I know that's why. what one would think. I know why. Let's hear it. Okay, because then you're going through your days and little events happen, like a certain text or like an emote or like stupid things or just like a person, you, you, you see them if, if it's a real life thing. And then you wonder, like, did this mean something? Did that mean something? And it clogs up all this mental effort for you to be wondering all the time. And then for it to just be a no actually makes your life easier in all those ways because you can think about other things. 
I completely agree. God that damn that it, is I'm still effect. not there. Fuck. Okay, I get no, it. That's no, no, just no, no, attention. No, 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 I know. Okay. You're, you're, you're there. You're I'm, you're there. So I'm that's there. what's bad. You're defining what's bad about being in the tension and how you feel relief when you get rejected. So I'm not disagreeing. You're completely right. I think you're just missing one thing. And the question is, why in particular, Reckful, are you? Why do? You, why are you afraid of hope and okay with rejection? Right, because that's another way to define this. That sounds fucked up. It does. That's me. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. What do you think? Uh, okay, I'm afraid of hope, and I'm okay with rejection. Because that's what the because te the tension. So sure, there's Damn. like a mental burden of you that's wondering, right? I'm afraid of hope, but okay with rejection. I'm afraid of hope and okay with rejection. Comfortable with rejection. Comfortable. Like okay, okay is a nice word. Afraid of hope. Why do you prefer certain failure to un uncertain success? That's another way to think about it, right? Close my eyes and think about it. Let's see. Why do I prefer certain failure? Now, should I go back in my life really far many years or should I just think recently? Wherever you want to go, fuck I want to do. All right. Why do I prefer certain failure to uncertain success? Oh man, it's kind of like when I just stopped streaming on Twitch for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. In the past when I was like, just wanted to be a st streamer uh, as my main career. But I, I, it, it, the, the whole tension of the numbers going up and down and not like on viewer counts and not knowing it was too much, so I'd rather just run away and close it all. Not stream at all. So I prefer the... Very good. Yeah, okay, that's... I did that. So you're right. Well, I know you're right, but I don't know why. Yeah. I really like the sentence, so let me ask though. You this. I prefer... Can, I, pre I prefer... Why am I afraid of hope? But okay with rejection. I'm going to tweet that. Let's see if anybody knows. Can I tweet okay. it? Sure. This is not helpful at all. I, I just, I no. want to, I want to see what people say. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Why I, I am I afraid sure. of hope, but okay with the rejection? Question. So another way to think that's about That's how you it. worded it, right? Why am I afraid of yeah. hope, but okay with rejection? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So another way I, to I think about it. it is... I tweeted it. Everyone answer. <laughs> see what? Okay. I... So uh, another question is, is why are you... So why are you okay with rejection, but not okay? Why are you comfortable with rejection, but uncomfortable with conditional love, right? So like unclear love. That's the other way to think about it. Okay, now I'm closing this. I'm getting distracted. Okay, say it again. Why are you okay with rejection? Mm -hmm. but yes, I, I am okay with it not okay with conditional love i'm not okay with conditional love right so like like possible love is that what conditional love means uh no it, it doesn't mean define that. That's conditional not love for us so like let's say like possible like so let me put it this way the uncertainty possibly getting rejected for you is worse than actually getting rejected i can see that this is a conversation you've had with people a lot of times and it's not super stimulating for you and that's distracting me. So I'm closing my eyes. No, sorry. I, I've just got a call and I need to make sure it's not an emergency. Okay. So maybe my, I just assumed a lot of things. Yeah. My, my, my thought Good. process is bad. Uh, but that was where we'll it talk about that in a second too. Fuck. Got a lot of problems. Okay. So let me ask you another question. Okay. Yeah. How much XP do you have? How, what, if we had to say you have different skill levels, right? Like you've gained XP at like being in a relationship, being rejected mm. and being in the tension. How much XP do you have in each of those environments? Oh, I'm, I have a lot of experience being in a relationship. I have, a, I have experience being single. Mm -hmm. 
actually more experience being in a relationship though and then okay. very little in the tension yep right. so i'm low level i'm bronze at being into tension okay if we're using a uh, for some reason i like using the league of legends things the bronze silver gold you, you know plat sure. diamond they they, they had in starcraft too also yeah starcraft also um okay i'm bronze at being in attention i might be like gold or high silver at being in a relationship i'm not very good and i'm man i'm not that good at being single either i'm not really good at any of these things okay so but i'm the worst so at being in attention for sure no no, no. so but yeah, s being right. single is not being single is not what that what we're talking about we're talking about rejection that's not the same as being single Right? I'm okay with rejection. Yeah, I'm chilling. Yes. Because you have you have I've dealt lost with that a people lot. before, Reckful. Huh? Absolutely, right? Yeah. Because you have lost people before. Yeah. And you have survived. Yeah, I'm fine. I think. So well, I'm not really Yeah, fine. because I mean, so think Almost. about that for a second. You've gotten used to it, right? Like you've gotten used to people leaving. Yeah. And you <laughs> yeah, can handle fuck. that. Okay, yeah. Uh huh. You're right. Does that make sense? So the certain rejection is an area that you actually have a lot of experience in. That's sad. It is. It's very sad. Listen, right? I'm going to put you in the headphones. Okay. I want to hear you closer. I hate when it okay. gets tangled over here. Okay. Where, where is this? I'm realizing that it's silly for me to untangle this at this moment, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay, I'm done. Now, hello? Yeah. So, like, if you think about it, your XP with, with rejection and losing people is actually, like, you're super high level there. Right? So it hurts. There's no question that it hurts. But your capability to deal with it is good. Actually, I'm fucking diamond at getting rejected. Absolutely. Thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's, it's sad, funny. but but like you started learning that at a very young age, yeah. right? You started learning rejection and loss when you were super young. Uh huh. And then each time it happens, you get you level up a little bit, and so you become more comfortable with it. Yeah. What's terrifying is like you don't know if people are going to stay or leave. Like, you can deal with either camp. You can be in a relationship or you can be rejected from a relationship. You can have someone say, I never want to see you again, and it's painful, and you, but you survive because you know how to do that because you're actually really resilient. Uh -huh. And you have, like, like, you know, like, winning and losing is doable. It's, it's the hope, right? Because the, this is, like, you can only, like, let yourself hope for relationships so many times, and, like, each time someone ends their relationship with you, it hurts like more and more and more and it gets harder and harder and harder to like try to love again. You're right. Right. So it's like, you just need to know because like the possibility, like the possibility that they're going to say yes is just so terrifying because the flip side of uncertain acceptance is also uncertain rejection. So the possibility of rejection is worse than rejection itself. Mm -hmm. It's the not knowing. Yes. Right. And so even now, like I like Some, uh, a girl, a girl told me really recently that, or she was telling another girl, and she told me that she did this that that I'm really weird in the ten in that tension spot. She didn't use the word tension, but in in like that I want to just know right away that it's not. A relationship thing she was telling another girl that i'm weird like that and the other people are comfortable just being hey maybe this will be and maybe this won't yes yeah i can't do so that that's that's right what now. we have to teach you how to do yeah i want to do, be able to do it okay so i'm tempted to actually ask you to meditate because i wonder Let's if do it. in your state of mind this will some maybe something you can appreciate <laughs> Have we uh, talked about the moment where inhalation becomes exhalation before? Have you seen this? Have I talked to you about this? The moment when inhalation? I don't even know inhalation. Wait, wait. I'm having so one of those. There's this, 
I know there's this weird moment. You know, you know when you're looking at a word for a long time and it starts to look like it isn't a word. Have you had that happen before? Uh, never had it happen in your life. Where I look at a word for a long time. You and stare I'm... at a word for a long time and you're like, "Wait, is this actually a word? Is this how you spell this word?" You've never had it happen. Uh, I can't believe I you've never know. had that happen. I, I, it's a very. I common mean, maybe experience. maybe I have. I've 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 had that experience with things besides words. Okay. But, but just maybe not with a word. Okay. Anyway. Because I I don't know if I've just inhalation, stared at a word. inhale, exhale, inhalation, exhalation. They're words. So you have just... inhalation and you have exhalation, right? Yeah. So close your eyes, sit it's up not... straight. Yeah. And find the moment where inhalation becomes exhalation. I'm sitting up straight and I'm finding the moment when inhalation becomes exhalation. Is this straight? This is not that straight. Is this straight enough for you? Straight. Your spine should be straight. You can be okay. leaning back. That's okay. But your spine should be straight. It is straight, I think. I think yeah, so. that's okay. the most important. So. You guys can try this at home too. So we're going... Uh... And then there's this moment here, the parabola. Yeah. Yeah. And then yep. we're, we're so finding. Find the moment. So the in the parabola, there is a smaller parabola, right? Yes. Because at the beginning of the parabola, it's it, inhalation. It, yeah. End of uh -huh. it. yeah. So zoom in and find the moment. Okay. Got it. I found it. <laughs> what do you want me to do now? Okay. So you found it. So so are you finding a point or is it a parabola? It's a parabola, I think. So then then how can you find the moment if it's a parabola? Because a parabola describes I, a range. I found the range. Find the moment. Because at one point it's inhalation, at one point it's exhalation, right? Okay, so there must be a transition to, we, must, point. we must step back here and discuss this. Um... I finding a range to me is identical to finding a moment because there's we can keep dividing moments into infinitesimal amounts of time forever. There's no even if you find a moment, it's not. I mean, it could it could be divided further, right? So we're just looking at it as a range. We found the range. How comfortable are you with it being a range and not a moment? Super comfortable. Super comfortable. Yeah. Because a moment okay. a moment, I, is the same thing. A moment is a range also. A moment is a range. Yes, a moment sure is a range. That. Okay. Uh, uh, so, I mean, logically, yeah. I guess no, no, I, just, I, I mean... Forget I mean, about logically. Just I'm asking about the conviction of your belief. I'm not trying to poke holes in your argument. Yeah, a moment is a range. Between her saying yes and her saying no is what? Between her saying yes and her saying no is tension. I and mean, what is that tension? A range. Between inhalation and exhalation, there is what? A range. And you are you are looking for, you cannot sit in that range. So you must practice sitting in the range because I know you're capable of it. I see, but it's not exactly my issue. My issue is I know this range exists and I'm I'm comfortable knowing it's a range and don't have to know any further. So with most people, maybe that would be the issue, but that's not mine. What's your issue? Why are you uncomfortable with the uncertainty? I don't know. I mean, we're still trying to figure it out, right? So I, I think I think it's because you can be comfortable with a range when it comes to the breath, but you are not comfortable with a range. That's what the very definition of the uncertainty is. You want it to be a moment. <sighs> a moment. I, I don't like the word there, but... I want okay. it to be. God, wait, my camera got so bright. Why does it auto adjusting like that much? It's not good. I'll just be dark. I want it to be. I want to know I'm accepted. Absolutely. I completely agree. It's simpler than than what? Yeah, I just want to know. I completely. So, but why am I okay understand. with getting rejected then? Because you just want to know. It's not about being accepted or rejected. You just want to know. 
Because in this instance, you are not uncomfortable with the range, right? You're the very definition. If you say, I just want to know, you want to be squarely in inhalation or squarely in exhalation. You're fine with either side of the middle of the parabola, but it's in that middle area where you are just intensely uncomfortable. Does that make sense? Of course it makes sense. The problem is that when you become attached to a relationship, you cannot see what otherwise you understand. That didn't make sense. When I become attached to a relationship, I cannot see what? I, what did you say? I, you otherwise understand. So you are completely comfortable with the idea that there is no inhalation and there is no exhalation and that there's something in the middle, which is the parabola. And that, that if we think about that, the parabola is like the uncertainty of the breath. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. But right now... Your mind is calm and clear, so you are able to live in that uncertainty without it torturing you. It's just simple. There's nothing to worry about. There's no inhalation. You're not stressed out about it. It's just, it's a parabola. And you say that with utmost conviction, that there is no moment. It's just a range, and you're comfortable with that range. Yep. And range is uncertainty, right? Like, that's like, it's like kind of the same thing. Like, that's what you're saying. Is that you cannot define it. It is range like, is it's not... a range. This doesn't mean it's uncertain, though. It's there. There's the range. Absolutely. And and w when we think about her saying not saying yes or not saying no, that's uncertainty. That's uncertainty. She could say yes. She could no, say cause, no because there is a binary answer at the end. Whereas with the breath, ah. with the breath, there really is something in between <laughs> when you inhale and exhale. So then I encourage you. So I do not think both of those statements can be true. Fuck. So I'd say zoom into the parabola even further and look for the binary answer. That's the whole point, right? So the po point of the exercise is don't find, find the moment where inhalation becomes exhalation. Oh. I, I guess it's a, it's a fun thing to help you zoom in on the breath and anchor, right? Is that why sure. we do it? Okay. We do it for all kinds of reasons. That's one. Right there. Okay. I mean, I could find the center of the parabola at range, the range that is in the center of the parabola. So zoom in further. Then there's another range. There's Absolutely. A... And another range and another range and another range. But you know, at some point, like from a very simple, like physiologic standpoint, at some point you are not inhaling or inhalation becomes exhalation. Oh, fuck, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right? Okay. Yeah. At some point. We're doing the other thing. <laughs> yes. At some point, like the vacuum turns on or <laughs> whatever, you know. Exactly. Right. At some point, you're no longer inhaling and you're exhaling. I see. You're smart. So then there must be a transition. And you can detect the range of the transition, but this is why you have to practice this. But we technique. can't find. We Okay. Then I, I counter that we can't find the point. <laughs> right. Because. This is too small a range of time that we'd have to be able to slow down time to find it. Exactly. So this is where, if we think about it, right? So like if we think about a practiced skill, when I play WoW Battlegrounds, my perception of time is way too fast. I just imagine you playing a WoW right? Battlegrounds. That's so funny. I would, I would watch. Like, I was about to say, I need to not stop saying pay, but I would, I would <laughs> fucking love Dude, to watch. I, I you stream to, playing I, a WoW Battlegrounds would be so funny, please. Yeah, maybe one day. Yeah, okay, I just, fuck, I just really want to see it. People will want to see it. People will want to see it. I used to play Warlock, and I used to be, on the one hand, really bad, but also on the other hand, at times close to being at top top of my server. Wow. But, but also really bad, like nowhere near like someone who's actually good at battlegrounds. I would love to watch. Oh no, no, not not top of my server. What what's the top rank? Okay, I mean, what the fuck are you talking about? In a it, battleground? It, it, like echelons, right? No, sorry, not battlegrounds. In uh, arena. Arena. Yeah. You were you were gladiator? No, you were. I know. Th duelist. No, maybe? I, I was not. Duelist, the one under. I, I, yeah, I was like duelist. There's like and a I had an option. Top, top three. So to, I, I, had a, yeah. I, had a, I had a clan that was Gladiator that invited me to join because they thought they were good enough to join their PvP team, but I just didn't have the time, so I, I turned them down. But I, no, I think listen, I I, this didn't have the time thing. That's that's a cop out. Okay, maybe you didn't 
with Fine. the amount of time you had, you weren't good enough to do it. Absolutely. Completely agree. And, and may have if not, you not had been... the time, you might have not made it either. Completely agree. Okay, so you shouldn't talk like that. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> there we go. But case in point. So See, so this, it, this kind of stuff makes me want to be your friend and not your patient. Yeah, so let's... Okay. Well, we have to we'll think about to, it. to that in a second, but let's let's not get distracted. So my perception of time in Battlegrounds is way faster than your perception of time. It feels Sorry, like it's but not going fast. So PvP arena. Okay, so it feels right? like it's going fast. For me, it feels like it's going so slow. Yeah, I'm just like, oh my god, this game's like I'm just waiting for the next kid. I, I listened to a YouTube video of you playing Battlegrounds, and I was arena, amazed arena, by arena. Your Arena, sorry. I, I was amazed by your ability to describe what is happening and what is going to happen next. It felt like it was slow-mo. Like, when I go into yeah. PvP Arena, it's just like, I feel like I've, I'm being dropped from a skyscraper, and then before I know it, like, my Fellhound is dead, and all of my mana has been drained. Fellhunter. Yeah, I'll explain. It's because you just get to know all the abilities. Well, you already know. You already know this, but you you get to know all the abilities of every character and their cooldowns. So you get to know that there's nothing that can happen to me in the next 10 seconds because Rogue doesn't have Kidney Shot, and he doesn't have Vanish right now, and I cannot be stunned. I'm just chilling. So... I'm not in tension because I know it's, it goes back to the other thing. I just know nothing can happen to me. So I'm chilling, you know, and then I, I think I, but I know all their abilities of all three. And then you, if you play, yeah, so if your you play ability, a lot, your, your ability to process who is using what abilities on the enemy team requires a, a slowing down of time that I don't have. So I have, I can't keep track in one second. You can track three abilities right. from three enemies. This is what whereas I, I can track half of one this would annoyed me actually there were add-ons to just do it for you but in tournaments at the time you weren't allowed to use add-ons which i liked because then everyone was on this fair playing field but there were add-ons that just tracked in the middle of your screen all the abilities the other team used and i didn't have i didn't play with any of that i had zero add-ons and then the people were basically cheating in my eyes to have yeah. it you know because that you're you're i mean unless everyone has it on then you're cheating so so yeah, Reckful, let me let me just go back to the point so i think the issue is you're saying that you have to slow down time and i completely agree right so you need to increase your resolution to be able to detect the transition of the breath the moment when inhalation becomes exhalation okay and that comes with practice oh you can do it yes are you sure yes I like that you took some time to answer. Maybe more comfortable with your certainty. So um, I have a question there. Okay. So I hear a lot about how meditation will get people into a state of mind. Well, you tell me a lot how it'll get me into a state of mind where I want to be, really. And it'll translate into my day-to-day -day walking around life, not just while I'm meditating, right? Mm hmm Now, what makes it so, when I meditate and when you meditate, we're doing the same thing. I, I completely have no, sometimes I get to the point where I'm not thinking at all, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's where you are. How okay. do you go farther than not thinking? How are you getting uh, somewhere farther? <clears throat> Than I'm getting because not thinking is just the first step, right? So that's kind of like, but it's hard to describe because. So like, let, let's say that it's dark outside, and I can't see anything, and I turn on a low light, and so when when there's a low amount of light, our the rods in our eyes activate and are sensitive to low light, whereas the cones are not. So when it's dark outside, the I perception of this. color. Okay. Yeah. The, the perception of color is not there, even though you can see like shapes. So if you think about when it's dark outside, like yeah. you don't see the green of trees, they look the same color as the bark, right? Which is like gray or brown. Oh, and then my as dad, the my dad always of... sees it all the same color. He's colorblind, but I wonder okay. if something. So he's probably red, green, colorblind, or is he completely So wait, wait, uh, uh, does it mean that his cones or rods aren't working? Which no, one? So, which one so was if it? If your dad is, if, if your dad is color, so cones perceive color and rods perceive black and white. So his cones of of green are not working. I think he sees a tree as one color. He's... Yeah. So I don't know particularly what's going okay, on with okay. your dad. Well, we'll usually yeah. men, men are usually red, green, colorblind because the the 
gene for color is on, I think, actually one X chromosome. What is so, red? What does red anyway, green mean? They can't see red and green. That they can't tell the difference between red and green. What? Yeah. No, he can tell the difference so. between red and green. Yeah. Okay. Right. I mean, he's just a different one. Okay, I get it. That okay. sounds crazy. Not be able to tell the difference between red and green. God damn. I guess some people are like that. That's a common one. Yeah. Red and men. green are fucking different to us. Yeah, but they, poor guys. They can't I feel bad. Them, right. Yeah, I get it. I'm so, not. Let, let's go back to your question. Yeah. Which was which was how is something possible beyond shutting off the mind? So yes. I would describe. So I'll I'll use an analogy first, then I'll kind of give you a simple answer. So like if we think about the perception of light, there's complete blindness, and then there's low level light, and qualitatively being able to see or not see shapes is different from qualitatively being able to see colors. As the amount of light in the room increases, you start to differentiate color where before between black and white, I mean, between darkness and light, all you could see was shapes. You with me? Between darkness and light, all I could see was shapes. I'm, I'm trying to follow you, but I keep thinking about other things and I'm really not wanting to do that. I really want to focus. The, while okay. you were talking, I was thinking about how it'd be nice to get Talbadar in a call on stream sometime. My friend, I'm lead designer on my game. And then yep. I was also thinking about how he would know how to fix my chair so I could be more comfortable. And then, oh, there's construction. And then I'm really having a hard time focusing. And then I've seen how I have, I have to pee. And I was thinking about how I wish I could overcome all these thoughts and just focus on what you're doing. And then I was thinking about how you can probably do that kind of stuff because you've meditated a lot. Okay, good. So it's good that you noticed you the flow you, of your did, thoughts. Yeah, but did you li you weren't listening at the very end? Sure, I was. <laughs> you sure you were? I think yeah. Oh, okay. I misunderstood I, I just, something. I I just don't just because you involved me with the last statement doesn't mean I'm going to treat any of the other. That statement is different from any other thoughts. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Those are the thoughts. They're just random thoughts. Some of them involve me. Some of them don't. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. That's not what yeah. I was talking about. Yeah. Let's keep going. I'm, I'm fucking, okay. I'm, I'm messing us up. Okay, so okay, how do I stop messing okay. up? I keep messing us up. There's fucking construction, dude. Okay, what do I do? So you, can you drown out this construction noise and can you help me meditate through it and just listen to what you're saying? Sure. Yeah, but if you're, if you're meditating, you're not listening to what I'm saying. No, meditate, right? meditate now, meditate now, and then it'll help me learn to focus so okay, I can let's focus, do... and then I can listen to what you're saying. If you want to focus and you want to calm down an active mind, we're going to give you a different technique, okay? So this is one we've done before. It's alternate nostril breathing. This, I think, will calm down your mind. Okay. So sit up straight. Uh -huh. Let me see this symbol. Okay. Sure. okay. I just really... Yep. Dude, I, okay, I, I have... Good. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. You can't be like that. It's not... For the record, for anyone who's confused about not being able to do this... The tendons in your hand are not all individual for finger control. So like there's one tendon that controls like these two fingers, which is why like it's hard to not do. It's it's just because your fingers aren't actually individually controlled. I'm by very the sad that this hand. is the farthest I can go. And I try That's to push okay. it. It's, I know I it, get it's it. Not, the tendon. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So right. so it's it's really actually complicated. So you have like some tendons that control multiple fingers, then you have smaller tendons that control individual fingers. So it's it's not like a deficiency, it's just how we're wired. Yeah. So sit up straight. So thumb on the right nostril mm. and breathe in through the left. Thumb on the right nostril and breathe in through the left, yeah. And then switch to the other side, block the other nostril and breathe out. I'm blocking it with these two. Uh huh. This fucking motherfucker. Why is that my in initial thought? There's somebody. It's his job to do construction on the uh, one above me to make it look nice. And my thought was this fucking motherfucker. That's not a good thought. <laughs> That's not. What, what am I? Why did I think that? Yeah. So. Okay, and we'll keep going. Sorry. Okay, so rectal. Let. Okay. I'm really sucking it. I'm really terrible. I'm sorry. Fuck. No, I, no, I, no. I, I, let me take a piss. Let me take a piss. You, you, you. Okay, go take a piss. Tell them about how terrible I am and everything. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. So I guess the question, chat, because um, we talked about this last time, is 
does psilocybin produce the same effect as meditation? And I think my initial answer to that is that I think that you can have similar experiences of consciousness in terms of derealization and depersonalization, but it was my belief that a big difference between psilocybin and the practice of meditation is that meditation also teaches you a practice of being able to focus your mind. And I believe Reckful felt like in states of psilocybin, he was also able to focus his mind, right? That he learned the same thing. So I'm, I'm curious about that. I don't know, because I've never tried. And I, I think that sometimes the mind is distracted, right? So we have to meet people where they are. And if your mind is distracted, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. So a lot of people are asking or want me to ask Reckful whether he took shrooms today, right? Or uh, people are asking about my opinion. Some people are assuming that he did take shrooms. I want you guys to really stop and think about what the purpose of asking that question is. Like if, if the answer to that question was yes, how would you feel about it? What emotions would come up? Because I'm damn sure emotions would come up for you guys. And if the answer was no, what would come up? How would you feel? Can any, does anybody know? Yeah, right. So like, exactly. So notice that within yourself and ask yourself, what, why do I stream? What are we here for? And does it matter at all whether Reckful is on psilocybin right now or not for what our goal is? Reckful, a lot of, we don't have to talk about this. I'm just sharing with you that I don't know how much of that conversation you caught. I heard a little bit. It's on the speakers. Uh, yeah. You were asking I why they it. are so curious. Yep. And why, so, why so are people they so in, curious? I think there's a certain voyeurism to whether you're on shrooms or not. So like, I think people will feel, people like feeling right. Okay. Right. So, so like, I think, and a lot of times, like when you have a hypothesis, it's very satisfying to feel right. I just don't think that that question is relevant at all to like what we're actually doing here. What do you think? I agree with you. I would, cause we, we now so what, that, especially now that we've done it on and off, uh, I think there are certain topics that can be explored better on psilocybin and certain topics can be explored better off. Because uh, maybe I'd actually be uncomfortable or not go deep into a certain topic off of it. But then off, uh, but then off, off, I could also, you'd be better at commenting now that you've seen me both ways. But I, I think it's a little different. Uh, but either way, we can accomplish a lot. Yes. Yeah. I do not think we will accomplish the same things. Yes. But I think we can accomplish a lot. I completely agree. And I think it's important. I, I know. So like this is like where, you know, we have to take a step back and ask ourselves, what's more important? Do we want to be entertainers on Twitch or do we actually want to help people? I want to Because if we want to, if we want to be entertainers, then we go down the road of asking Reckful whether he's on psilocybin or not. And then we laugh or joke about his ability to be distracted and whatnot. And I, I don't think that that actually serves our purpose at all. I frankly, I don't care. I think everyone should understand that at times your mind is distracted, whether yes. you are on a substance, whether you are emotionally upset or anything like that. Yes. At times your mind does not do the things that you want it to do. So in my mind, there may be also be people who are tuning in because they want to see some kind of emotional explosion from Reckful and they want to see him have an aha moment and stuff like that. And I, I, I get that, right? That's good. That's good Twitch. It's like good streaming and it's fun to watch. But I want everyone to understand that like right now, Reckful, I mean, I don't think it's good or bad. It's just at this moment, he is noticing within himself that he is distracted. Yes. And who at home does not struggle with the same fucking thing. Exactly. So I notice I'm getting distracted right? a lot and I want to focus. And I know that you would be able to train me into focus better. 
Yes. Yes. And that, so I'm that's excited. What we're focus I'm excited on. to learn how to focus better. So let's try one more time. And if not, we'll try a different meditation technique. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. So sit up straight. Thumb over here. Actually, try this. Just use, can you do this? Link your thumb and your ring finger. American thing. Thumb and ring finger. Yeah. Not not index finger, ring finger. Thumb and ring finger. Oh, sorry. There, yeah, that you can oh, do. Okay, so, have, so now I'm in... a, just just so you know, because I get uncomfortable about it. I have an actual like um, I'm significantly below average at certain tasks. That maybe like um, I, I okay, I have, I have an eighty IQ at like shapes and I don't remember exactly the. There's okay. certain things, some certain things I have like ADIQ with, and let's like, say one of them's like shapes and seeing rotations, and like I can't, my brain can't do that. So I'm just, just these things are take really long for me. That it, I just want you to know. That's all. Okay, so let's just talk about that for a second. Do you feel insecure about lacking that capability? I'm not insecure as long as people know. <laughs> no, I just don't want people okay. to wonder why it's taking me so long. Always with these kind of things, I just rather they so know. Hey, I'm like I'm challenged with this okay yeah so can i tell you how i feel about that yeah yeah okay so just real quick i could care less the important thing is that we meet you where you are and we get you to where you need to go gotcha. if you're impaired if you're brilliant if you're cut like we just have to meet you where you are no judgment and just get you to where we want you to go yeah yeah so we try I, things no, and i completely we try agree things. i completely okay. agree just sometimes People, when I've been streaming for eight years, I've noticed people are like, how the fuck can he not do this? Like, I can't, and I'm just, I always have, feel like I have to explain it, but I don't have to. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, so can you, so we're going to try a slightly different method, okay? So I'm going to do, so this is going to be hard for you to see. So I'm going to do thumb and ring finger. We're going to go like this, okay. okay? Instead of doing this. Instead of doing this, because this can be challenging for some people. Yeah, good. And so the only other thing is I'm going to raise my hand a little bit, so it's going to be, like, you're not going to be able to see my face, but... So breathe in. So thumb over here. Breathe in. Ring finger to block the other one. Breathe out. Breathe in through the same nostril. Switch and out. In. Switch, out, in, switch, out, good. Now close your eyes, sit up straight, and continue at your own pace, okay? Keep going. No, keep going. And everyone who's watching should do this too. Only switch on an exhale. Can I switch whenever? No, or should switch, I only switch on an exhale? Which, which after inhale? Yeah. Yeah. Switch with a full breath. Yeah, it's just it's a matter of where we're defining in the beginning. Good, Rekful, you're learning. Conscious about that sound. Keep going. We can stop. How, How do you feel? Yeah. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. How's I, uh, your mind? Calm. I don't know if I can focus better yet, but I know that I'm very calm. Although, I must mention, he shut up for a second. The construction. Can you hear the construction? So he happened to shut up around that time. Shut up is a bad word. You know, stop. So it helped me be calm, but wait, am I still calm? Okay, there's construction. I'm calm. I got this. Okay. How long? By the way, your camera is very dark now. Yeah, he kept auto adjusting. I need to, I need to mess with. Uh, I don't want it to auto adjust. 
I'll need it, but I, I okay. have to take it down. That's perfect. Yeah. No, that's fine. Um, how do you feel? Um, I, I feel, I feel hopeful that I can learn to overcome distraction from you. And that would be amazing for me because it's a major problem in my life. That's how I feel. Good. So I'm, I'm wondering, do you, do you feel like you're talking differently than before? Mm, I wouldn't have guessed it, but now that you mention it, I'm probably more calm talking yeah. absolutely right so you were saying three or four different things that were a little bit disconnected and you were moving around from place to place now i expect that to return over time which is okay just human. so what would you it, yes that's sort of certainly part of it okay. yeah um and so, so help me understand how you would like to spend the remainder of our, our time today. Let's say like we have another what 20 minutes, I half like an to hour. Do? Yeah. So what do you, cause we've opened okay, a lot okay. of different threads. Yeah. Let's, let's focus on how to focus, but okay. with active, I want to use an active thought method. Maybe that's not the right way. Well, what do I actively think to tell myself to focus or do I have to stop thinking? So focus is not tell about telling yourself anything. It is about doing something with the attention of your mind. So telling yourself something is thoughts. This is, yeah, this, right? I, I, I'm, I'm really don't under, I'm novice at this stuff. I'd love for you to explain it all. Yeah. So let's just start by like, if you tell yourself something, that is a thought. Yes. Got Focusing it. your mind is not about thoughts. It's about directing the thinking machine in a particular direction. Got it. Okay, so we're, we're so the like, controller. Here, this is us. And then we think thoughts. Okay. We think thoughts, and then there's a lot of disconnected thoughts happening. We need to, to learn to direct this, though, to just go in just one direction. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But it's very good that you're, first of all, realizing, so like the production of thoughts wait, wait, cannot- Wait, we're learning to direct this, I've actually, okay, I read a book called Mind Hacking. It's about hacking your own mind. And it kept mentioning that there's this, who are we? Are we this thing? Or if we're able to figure out how to direct this thing, then we're something higher. The consciousness. Okay. It's interesting to me. We'll talk about it another time. Anyway. Okay. Good. What did you just do, Rekful? Trying to direct ourselves back to the conversation. Very good. Yeah. And you weren't able to do that about 60 seconds ago, right? It was harder for you. Not weren't able. It was harder for you. Hard. The, the amount of time that you spent on a tangent was greater. Th so how did you do that? Did you have a thought just now? Oh, I need to stop talking about this. No, you didn't. You just stopped talking about it. Oh. Do you see that? So that wasn't a thought. I don't understand it, though. I see That's it. fine. Yeah. But, but you, you, you didn't it? convince yourself... Would you, you say you understand yourself. all this? Yeah. That's awesome. That's the coolest yes, shit I've I, ever heard in my entire life. I completely agree. Okay. Like, I think it's the coolest shit ever as well. Yeah. So I, I want people like, so like, this is why I loved going to India. So like, I lived my whole life not understanding how the fuck I worked. I like, still I didn't understand. I don't get like, it. When I wake up one day, why do I skip class? And when I wake up another day, why do I go to class? Yeah, I want to know. On on some days, why do I fall asleep? at? Why do I go to bed at 10 p.m. like I'm supposed to, like a good student? And other days, why do I stay up till 4 in the morning playing Warcraft 3? Yes. And not even just regular Warcraft 3, but Warcraft 3, like, custom games, like UMS. Those are really like, cool. Like, that's not even real War 3. It's, like, trashy War 3. No, no, the custom games are fucking awesome. Yeah. I, I, yeah. But even even I felt like playing like like grinding ladder was like actually doing something, right? Like playing custom games is just wasting your fucking time. No, you know that, what I mean? I don't like how you're thinking at all. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I enjoyed I, I loved it. No, right? Just grinding ladder, being doing uh, that's a toxic thought process, I think. I used to be on that thought yeah. process. What grinding ladder yeah. means you're doing something and oh I'm I'm seeing this number get bigger, but it's all it's all just an abstraction sure. of you're, you're playing a game to have fun. If custom games are fun, you should be playing those. If you need the number to be growing to have fun, there's a d deeper problem you need to step back from. I completely agree, but I absolutely had that deeper problem, right? Okay. 
where my sense of value or self-worth was tied to like just like even today you ask me what rank was i in pvp right so the thing so is that has down. it's annoying yeah the thing is i I wouldn't have been able to overcome this problem and I'd still be stuck in the loop of wanting to have a higher rating if I didn't reach yep. the highest rating. Because then there was yep. nowhere else, else to go. There was a point where mm -hmm. Blizzard had to patch the game so I could go higher rated because I hit the cap first. 3,000? Yep. You couldn't go higher. And they had to actually yep. make do a, make a patch so I could get higher rated. I, I was the only agree, person right? there. So, it was cool. This is, yeah. yeah it, I, I, and this goes back to your art gallery. No, but the th I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to do it just okay. to brag. I'm, I'm trying to say, no, no. I'm trying to say that uh, getting there allowed me to step back and realize, oh, I don't need to be on this grind for the higher number forever. I should just play the game to enjoy it. But it's really difficult because I playing, completely agree. Because then you don't end up playing as much. If, if if you're not playing for the number to get bigger, you don't end up playing as much, and then you don't end up being as good. And when you're not as good, you can't play with those same teammates who are really fun oh well my teammates just happen to be good as well i don't know so rectful i'm going to pause for a second and and, yeah. and ask ask you to apply what we're talking about to what you're talking about okay so when you came to this i'm trying to figure out how to say this without you didn't you understood this first in terms of like why the grind is futile and not a good investment of your time and then you understood the logic of it later right yeah. Like you came to a realization and then afterward the logic got into place. But essentially you're right, the realization. You're right, you're right. Okay. So now we get to like this issue of of how do we direct attention because it doesn't come from the mind. So you realize something without actually using your active thought process. If you're saying it the doesn't come from the mind, what 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 do we define where it comes from as just a word so we can have a go-to word? Consciousness. Simplest word. Consciousness. Okay, so consciousness is the director of the mind and yes, and what the mind. So I mean, there are different pieces, but I think generally speaking, the mind. So the co consciousness is the controller of the consciousness mind. is the, the controller con of the mind, but we can be conscious without well, mind when we meditate. Is what right? Yes. Okay. Yep. So when we're conscious without mind, oh, the consciousness never directs anything other than the mind, though. So it just as it directs the one thing, and that thing can sometimes be off with the other thing being on. Yeah, I mean, so you could say that the consciousness can also direct the body because it's it, our body True. functions without mental thought, right? Okay, so the consciousness so there's, there's directs the control. body and the mind. I I've never really thought about it like that, but I I mean I like thinking about it like this. It's very exploring. cool. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so we have consciousness, which Got is it. our like actually it. consciousness doesn't really. Oh, uh, in its truest sense, consciousness actually does not direct anything. All it is is consciousness is our capacity for awareness. Consciousness is our capacity for awareness. Consciousness this is sounds intelligent experience. as fuck, but I have to understand what it means. Hold on. Consciousness is our capacity for awareness. So, Rekha, okay, I, I want I'm you starting to... to get it. I kind of a little bit get it. I don't fully get it. Okay, so 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 I want you to rub your beard and just close your eyes and rub your beard for a second and just feel the sensation. Now, your noticing of the sensation, is that a thought? I didn't think anything. But you're still experiencing something, right? So that is consciousness. There's no thinking. There's no an analysis can come after. So you can have thoughts about it. Like, oh man, like this feels rough or this feels soft. All of those analytical thoughts are of the mind, but the actual noticing thing is only the consciousness. Now, I... Here's a part where I'm not sure you're right. Okay. I keep mean mentioning it on my stream all the time. But it goes back to the split brain experiment again. It goes back to the split brain experiment. I could be noticing things without thinking them. You'll see with the split brain patients, they'll like try to pick out their article of clothing they want to wear for the day. And then the other hand will knock it out and will pick something else. It's really it's, it's yeah. insane. Yeah. Then it could just be that other side of the brain, though, that is what is noticing that I'm... The right side of the brain could be noticing that I'm rubbing my beard. It doesn't think in thoughts, though. Ah, it doesn't think in so words. There's a difference between brain and mind and consciousness, right? So, 
Two of, uh, so we're, conscious... we're, we're, we're abstracting past the brain. We're not thinking about the brain. No, because because consciousness and mind are are words that we use to describe the experience of what goes on in our head. Right. It has nothing to do with. So I have no doubt that there is a part to of learn. brain. I'm trying to keep up. Con- Sorry, it's really hard. Um, so there's it- absolutely a part of brain that consciousness comes from. And there's absolutely a part of thoughts that consciousness comes from. OK. Right. We know that because when you meditate. We don't know where. Yeah, we, we, we can't figure out what the fuck does consciousness come from. That's the hard problem, right? It's called the hard problem. Well, sort of, but like, I mean, we, we know that if you take EEG electrodes and plug them up to your brain and as you enter a state of meditation, that state is distinct from the state of mental activity, which is distinct from the state of sleep, which is distinct from the state of dreaming, right? So we know that these are Ooh, all there are four states? physical representations. Those are the four states? That's it. Dreaming? I mean, four, no. Dreaming, meditation, uh, wait, dreaming, meditation, <laughs> sleeping, and... What the normal one? What what is it? Con- consciousness, thinking. Consciousness. Okay, thinking, thinking is better, not consciousness. Yeah. So conscious consciousness without thought is one. So let's just think about this. You can have your consciousness active, and you can have your mind active, or you can mother- have them. I, I, I thought it again. I thought this fucking motherfucker. But it's not. He's not a bad person. Why do I keep thinking that? What are you talking about? The there's a guy or? fucking doing construction above my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so <laughs> the reason. And, uh, he's not and, a bad so, person at all. I don't know why. So, rec- Recful, right now, your mind is something that, that we call stimulus bound, which is that generally speaking, your mind has the capacity to filter out stimuli that are not relevant to what you're doing. And, mine and, and is, as you yeah. as you become more stimulus bound, your capacity, your mind's ability, your brain's ability to filter out stimuli. It does it better when it's regular and not irregular, though. If it's completely yeah. agree. That's why So part of being people. stimulus bound is is attenuating a stimulus. Mm. So if you like walk into a room, you'll notice that people are talking. And if you're in that room and there's background chatter, your body, your brain will acclimatize to that stimulus and you'll stop noticing it. Mm. Right. That's normal. That's actually how meditation works, by the way. So what you do with what meditation you is you. Oh, OK, you're about I'll, to explain I, it. I'm, yeah. So yeah. as you know, as you put your attention on just one thing, so you can't empty your mind. What you can do is force your mind or try to direct your mind to just notice one thing. And you can use one thought or one sensation to push out everything else. And then over time, your mind acclimatizes to that last thought and then that goes away and then you're left with an empty mind. Got it. I think. Does that make sense? So as we, we use the breath to knock out all of the other thoughts and if we do the practice long enough, eventually we'll even lose track of the breath in the same way that you acclimatize to other things. And then you're left with nothing but consciousness. So getting back to the original question, then, how when you're meditating, do you go further than just not thinking? What is the next step? The best way I can describe it or what's used is higher levels of consciousness. Right. So consciousness is not one thing. There are different in the same way that mind has different states. Right. So it has anxiety, fear, excitement, a high level of activity, a slow level of activity, like uh, sitting back, like enjoying things, being stressed out. The mind has a lot of different fluctuations and consciousness in that way has different levels of fluctuations. I mean, I wouldn't call them fluctuations. I think they're more tiered than just like lateral fluctuations, but there are different states of consciousness. So. Okay, I, I would think this is complete mumbo jumbo, except that I've actually experienced a higher state of consciousness. So I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So a- anyone who hasn't experienced this, so this goes back to logic and knowledge, right? So you had this realization about the wow ladder and the grind and stuff like that. And then that realization can't come from the mind. It actually comes from somewhere else. And then your mind understands it afterward. If you think about the breath practice, and sorry if I'm bouncing around too much. But in the breath practice, you noticed something about the breath, and then you recruited your mind to be able to explain it and come up with the word parabola. Yes. Does that make sense? So that is consciousness directing the mind to be like, hey, I want you to tell me what this is, or let's think about this. Like, let's understand what we already know. We got to figure this out. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But you already have the answer. Do I? 
Yeah, because you, but, but the, it's not, a, it's not the product of logic, right? You figure it out first and then your logical mind understands it afterwards. You don't figure it out first. You, you feel like you're close to figuring it out. You know the conclusion and then you want the mind yes. to clarify to make it solid. Very, very good. Because figuring it out, the, that verb is more mental activity. Yeah. But like you said, you 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 start with the conclusion, which like is actually kind I of mind blowing. Love you talking to you, by the way. It's so cool. Okay, sorry. That's okay. I appreciate the compliment. Uh, it's just so for you. Here's a big disconnect, I think, for people on Twitch and, and you. See, you've probably been talking to people uh, similar to you for a long time because you went to. I didn't go to. You went to a good school. And you're talking to colleagues, or do you call them colleagues? Peers. I don't know who you're peers. You're talking to. to peers at a good school all the time. Now with gamers, there's a lot. I went of to smart... UT Austin, which is like a pretty good school, but it's also like. <laughs> oh, you, you went know, here. So... Yeah. Okay, but regardless, I mean, regardless, anyway, I dropped out of high school, right? So okay. the only people I'm talking to are all sitting at home playing games which is fine, but fuck, what am I trying to say? Sounds like you're making a comparison of some kind. Of yeah, so they, am, all, all of us gamers sitting on here on Twitch, we haven't heard, we haven't gotten to experience conversations like the ones you have regularly, I think. And then it's okay. really nice as soon as I'm in it, I'm just, wow, like I'm stimulated. My mind is stimulated. I'm, I'm learning and you're making it fun to learn for me and Usually it wasn't fun. Well, I'm I'm glad you feel that way. Yeah. I, I would also be, I mean, I, to be honest, Reckful, I think some of the most profound and awesome conversations that I've had are with gamers who are going nowhere in life. Like, <laughs> you know, I, I don't think you need to be at a top tier institution. I, I, I firmly believe this. Like part of the reason that I stream on Twitch, it's funny. So I talk more about what I truly believe on Twitch than I do at HMS. Because I think the people here are more open-minded, willing to listen, and able to learn than yeah. people in a, a, like a top-tier academic institution. Do you think you've learned anything from us, from us Twitch people? Uh, tons. Really? Every single day, man. Cool. You're learning something from me? Absolutely. You're not just saying that? Well, no. Okay. So, I Rachel, think believing. about this for a second. Yeah. I mean, other than I think something useful, other than how to use the you know, the technology. So, Reckful, let's pause for a second. How am I able to do what I am doing? What makes me good at this? You can relate. Okay, you, what does that mean? Like, how lot. does one? That's not really what it is, though. I don't fucking know why you're good. I just know you are. Yeah, it's because you're teaching me in this moment. I don't I don't believe that. I maybe I have low self-esteem or something. No, no, no. You do maybe you have low self-esteem, but understand. So like like this is <clears throat> me getting XP for all of the other conversations. Every response you give me helps me understand like a future conversation in a slightly different way. Every person that I talk to helps me understand the condition of humanity. I think if I weren't me, I could believe you. Yeah. Then we got to get to the issue of like why you can't believe that about yourself, right? Why do you need validation? Why do you We've talked about, that, right? So where, where, despite all of your amazing successes and being wreckful gladiator and doing this and doing that and Everland and all the other stuff that you've done successfully, why is it that you what cannot is value gladiator? yourself? That that's the video that I saw. That was oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> two thousand ten or whatever. Rightful three, yeah. Two thousand six. Yeah. It's fucking old, yeah. It's old. it's two thousand yeah nine maybe. It got they got taken down from YouTube. Fucking whatever. Yeah, I remember. So despite all of these things, despite Blizzard having to patch the game so that you could continue to grow, why is it that you can't believe this about yourself? Why is it that I believe you, I'm good? I was good at that game. Why do you not have inherent value in yourself as a person? I would love to know that. How long have you felt that way? My whole life. As far as I, I can remember. As so. long as I can remember. As long as I can remember. 
do you feel like you're so you don't feel like you're good enough it's not like i'm going in for a test that i need to be good enough for it it's just that i don't i don't feel my value being added to situations i feel like if i were dead it'd be the same just one guy seven billion people maybe almost eight now who knows I think we're sitting at 7.5. Okay. I'm just going to I'm going to think for a second, okay? I'll take a piss. I need more water too. I know what happened here, but I didn't understand it right away. Drinking almond milk yesterday. Didn't clean this cup. I drank water out of it. And there's some gross looking shit in here. I was debating whether I show you guys. But probably nobody wants to see. I'll just go clean the cup and drink much more water. Okay. existential crisis that I'm having or he's having? No, this isn't an existential crisis. Quite the opposite. This is just the final boss of what I'm here to do. That's all. So sometimes when you're facing a final boss, you have to take a step back and think about what your strategy is, right? That's what's going on. I'm leveling up, right? So sometimes you got to pause. I'm activating Super Saiyan mode. <laughs> it's hard. Oh. It's hard when... Sometimes makes it, Reckful makes it easy on me, and sometimes he makes it hard on me. So I just that doesn't matter though, right? Like because in life, you have to you have to deal with what life gives you, not complain about what life is giving you. Okay. I think I'm good. Two boomers streaming, absolutely. Boomer Central. What are we going to do, chat? Let me just, let me, um, what's that thing in, in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Like, um, ask the audience. So what do you guys, what do you guys think? Why does Reckful have, why is Reckful sure that he lacks, that he doesn't have value and that he's insignificant in this world? Yeah, so I, I, when you guys say something like low self-esteem, that's not a reason, that's a synonym. Right? Like, 
I mean, so not enough meditation is also something that that's not the reason why that's a solution potentially, but it doesn't help us understand like this is an issue of diagnosis, not of treatment. So possible, right? So the easy answer is that this goes back to abandonment and him losing his brother. Like that's something that, you know, us as psychiatrists and therapists love to come back to is defaulting to the answer of, oh, that's the cause of all of his problems. But I think defaulting to his dad, I mean, his brother is actually like intellectually lazy and possibly doing him a disservice. So arrogance deep inside, it's not the arrogance that's deep inside. So understand this, when you have low self-esteem, arrogance isn't deep inside. Arrogance is on the outside and the low self-esteem is on the inside. That's what narcissism is, right? A belief that other people should treat you like you're the best in the world and a belief in yourself that you're the worst in the world. That's narcissism. Arrogance is on the outside. Low self-esteem is on the inside. So it's not, he's not deeply arrogant. I don't think so. Usually, very, I don't know what that... If anyone's deeply arrogant, it's me. Because you, you're not going to see it. Um, so bullied. Right? Open Reckful's chat. Okay. Let's open Reckful's chat. Hey. Sorry if it's so long. I, uh, I decided to look for my noise-canceling headphones. So okay. Just not deal with the construction, but then I was thinking about whether it's better to try to deal with the construction. You know what I'm saying? Like to try to get used to it and overcome that I'm hearing it. Okay. What do you think? I mean, I tried. For I, a I while. think you should use. I, I think you should use noise canceling headphones. I think you should be where you are, and don't confuse where you are with where you want to go because those are very different things. Sorry. And it takes time to get to where you want to go. Where I am with where I want to go. Oh. I Right. So one day, in theory, you would be able to do this without noise canceling headphones. We don't know how bad the construction is, but you shouldn't blame yourself for wanting to use it. I think it's smart. Uh, Reckful, do you know why everyone in your in your chat is talking about cock? Wait, everybody in my chat is talking about cock. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. I don't even know what that. Wait, what, what's anyway. chat? Can you guys? Why, what what happened today? Are you guys okay? Cock. I don't. Hmm. Cock. Anyway, they, let's. No, but I'm. I'm just. What you just did. They. They're so happy that this happened, because now. What happened? That you noticed that they were spamming cock. That was the goal. That's why they were doing I see. it. Okay. They got just, you. Just. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll be the the first not the first time and not the last all right i'm just i'm still i'm just a sad boomer trying to understand twitch and no, I, I, I think i've discovered i think i've i've de i think i i don't under, i think i've finally decoded pog by the way i can't believe how many times you stutter trying to say that that was really funny i, I, I think i'm up I, 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 <laughs> absolutely all right so Pog is just something that you add randomly to the end of other things, right? Randomly? Yeah. I'm insulted. <laughs> it's like, like, so now I would say insulted Pog. Doesn't that work? Yes, but that's not random. It doesn't work. You could do it. <laughs> you could. So, so that I could say <laughs> it's not random Pog. That works too, right? Yeah, but okay. The thing is, do you, do you know do you know what being do you know what being me on Twitch feels like? No, I really it don't. It feels like being an AI trying to pass the Turing test. That's funny. It's like so. If I'm you guys don't know, if you guys don't know the Turing test is something to tell if an AI if if, if something passes the Turing test and AI passes the Turing test, it means you can't tell it wasn't a human. So I, I'm trying really hard to not be a boomer, and I think I can mimic it. But I really don't understand it because at the end of the day, I'm not human and I'm just an AI. Damn. So then I would say just so an AI. They, they always think I'm the one on, on psilocybin. That sentence was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. Um, so then, yeah. Anyway, so let's let's go. Let's try to actually 
help you a little bit. Uh huh. So so you have this belief that you know you don't have value. Value. I I had value right now teaching about Twitch. It's a little bit, right? A little bit. But I don't sure. usually feel like I have much value. Um, I wonder if it'll change as I do bigger things. But I, it's not doesn't seem to be. So like I've oh. I've done a lot of things in my life now, especially now. Still isn't changing that I don't feel like I have value. The only reason okay. I, the only reason when I'm sad I don't and I no longer consider like jumping off the edge is because I think when I'm sad is I think about other people who would be affected. Okay, I'm glad that's keeping you going. And I want to actually, this is going to be, in a sense, maybe way harder. But, but in that, a sense, in, I think to those people, so to those people, I'm adding value. Yes, but I let's forget about all that for a second. I w was going to say something that I think was a little bit more complicated and harder to digest. But I will say this: so there is a difference between having value and feeling like you have value. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So, do you have value, or do you feel like you lack value? I know logically that I have value, but I don't feel okay. it. Okay. Yeah. There are times when you feel it, right? Once in a while, someone will say, man, you really, like, I'll get these long emails, actually, like, man, you really, I've been getting a lot recently. Just telling people, telling me I changed their life in a good way. And mm -hmm. then I'll, uh, while I'm reading it, I'll feel value. But then if I got a bunch of them that day and they kind of blended together, then on the fifth one I read, I wouldn't feel value. Which... Okay, so now, fine. So I want you to just notice that your sense of value determines on is determined based upon your feelings. Is dependent on my feelings. My sense of value is dependent on my feelings? Yes. Because you're telling me that when you read something... I think it's dependent on other people's feelings. Well... That's true as well, but other people, so I don't think it's dependent on other people's feelings precisely. So if we understand how the mind works, other people's behaviors make you feel a certain way. Other people's behaviors make me feel a certain way. And if, if they're giving me uh, positive feedback a lot, then I'm having a, a sense of self-worth. Yep. But the feeling is on your end. It's actually not their feeling. It's your feeling. Okay, feeling was the wrong word for, yeah. Right? So, so I, I, first of all, I want you to stop and think for a moment about whether one should, con whether one should base what they know on their feelings. Whether one should base what they know on their feelings, no. They should not. Okay, so that's the first thing, right? So there are different sources of knowledge. There is the there is something that I'm going to call intuition or realization or consciousness or experience. Like that's one bucket of knowledge. That's called nyan. So the Sanskrit word is nyan. G N Y A N. Okay. The what word? Sanskrit. Sanskrit. Yeah. Sanskrit. So for example, can you spell that so I just remember it? S A N S K R I T. Sanskrit. Yeah, Sanskrit. Okay, I've seen that word. Yeah. So. Do you know what a strawberry tastes like? Yeah. What does it taste like? Couldn't tell you in words, but I know what it is. Exactly. That's neon. Right? So when you when we're thinking about whether grinding to get to gladiator rank is important or not important, you had a realization one day where you understood a bunch of stuff. You understood N -A something core. Cool. N Y A N? G N Y A N. G N Y A N. Neon. It's a yeah, there's yeah, like a weird G sound. N no, it has a nut that doesn't exist in We're the English We're all typing language. it in chat now. G G N or J N J N Y A N is the other way that they get translated. Neon. I like the G. Okay. Neon. So, yes. Neon. It's like nyan nyan. Nyan nyan. Okay. Like nyan <laughs> But um, so <clears throat> one source of knowledge is nyan. Right, so that's like experience realization, and sometimes your mind catches up, your thoughts catch up. Once you figure something out, like you know that you figured it out, it takes some time for your mind to catch up and be able to explain it or fully understand it. 
or like break it down into pieces that the logical mind can understand. Yes. Another source of, of knowledge is Vidya. So Vidya, V-I-D-Y-A, is Vidya. information, is objective, and is transmissible. So it's information, it's objective, and it's transmissible. Yes. Now, what does right? that mean? So it, it, in a textbook, it's full of Vidya. You can read a textbook through, from cover to cover and never understand something. Yeah. Bunch right? You can memorize without there. understanding. Yeah. yeah. Just shitty Vidya's in there. Right? <laughs> yeah. And so the person who has Nyan can write a textbook. So you can have E equals MC squared and understand what that means. And then you can write an entire textbook. <laughs> Does that make sense? I can have E equals MC squared and understand what that means. And I can write an entire textbook. Does that make sense? No. It does not. Okay. So like, you know, we have physics textbooks and physics textbooks are designed through doing Vidya over and over again as you do problems and equations and stuff. At some point, hopefully you get a light bulb when you're studying something and then you get it. It clicks. That makes sense. And once you it clicks, you no longer need the textbook. In fact, if a, a student is struggling to understand it, you can go to them and you can explain to them in a way that's better than the textbook, yes. right? Okay. So Nyan is about like understanding the core thing. Like you can explain this concept of I love chasing Nyan, after. actually. Nyan is the best. Nyan is completely the best. Completely agree. The thing our society yeah, I always feel like someone asked me, what does that taste like? Like what you did with the strawberry. And my ex-girlfriend was so good at describing what something tastes like. And it was so frustrating because she would want me to describe in words what it tasted like. I'm like, I don't fucking know. I know what it tastes like, dude, but I can't tell you. <laughs> like I can't yeah. tell Yeah. So, so now what we need to do, I, I need so to, there's Vidya. There's I, want, I want to transfer a Neon to someone else. You can't. I know. That'd be sick. So, so remember how I said vi how Vidya is objective, transmissible, and yeah, I don't like that you said you can't. I'll figure it out. 50 years from now, I'll, I'll make a technology. You'll be like, okay, okay. you had it. Okay, fine. Give it so Neon. Neon is subjective, not transmissible. Although if you want to develop a technology, go for it. Stop uh, interrupting, Wreckful. Dude, you guys are so mad. People are thinking I'm so rude. I interrupt all the time. It's just how I talk. <laughs> Should I not do it? Wait, let's let's see hear his opinion. What's what's your opinion? I think we should try to finish the conversation instead of talking about whether to interrupt or not. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but after. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So right, so like we could say interruption fog. <laughs> right. No. You can't, could, can't say interrupt. No, fog. we could actually say it, and now it'll be funny. But we <laughs> we couldn't have said it before, but now we can. God damn it! Like the, I'm telling you, <laughs> the boomer within me is masquerading as whatever it is that Twitch chat is, and I'm I'm pretending and I'm hoping that no one notices. Okay. No That's one cool. notices Pog. You just take a <laughs> random ass thing. It's not random. And you just had, and you just had Pog at the end. It's not random. The ones you're picking are actually good. You can't say like. I mean, you could. As soon as I say it, it'll be funny. You can't say like, you can't say like, clock from Santorini, Pog. For no but, reason. Wouldn't that but be you a could. Great pog? You, you, <laughs> yes. you, you could. That's a great Pog. Clock from Santorini, Pog is the best Pog. If something is going to become a meme from this show, it is clock from Santorini, Pog. Maybe, right? Maybe, maybe he's right that you can actually take anything. I Maybe I was thinking too deep, in, like specifics. And you, you, you got, weren't you're, thinking you're, deep you're enough, thinking, my friend. You're high level you're as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough. So you can just say you're anything. You're too shallow, baby. You got to go deeper to the essence of Pog. Have Nyan of Pog. No, no, no. Oh, wait, when you say deep, here's a question. When you say deep, sometimes I mean deep into the specifics. And then there's a high level version of thinking and there's specifics. But the, there's depth to the specifics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and there's depth to the big picture. There's depth in both, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go back to, or maybe this is just a, you know, we can just call this aborted fetus what it is. No, but Nyan, let's Nyan. Go, Nyan, Nyan, Nyan. Yeah, Nyan. let's go. So, so when it comes to you, you, you don't have Nyan, a value of yourself. So no amount of convincing will work and has worked. Okay, that hurt but it was true. Right? So what we need to do for you is give you Nyan a value of yourself. Because once you have Nyan a value of yourself, no one can convince you otherwise. I looked over at the chat. 
And they're just they're putting a pog out of everything, dude. That hurt pog. True pog. God damn it. <laughs> He's right. Okay. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. I'm closing the chat. You guys are having too, too much fun, okay? Okay, I closed it. So, I, yeah, I don't have the, the feeling. Um, when I eat a strawberry and I can tell you what it tastes like. I can't tell you what it tastes like, but I can. I, I know. Neon, I know it. Yeah. I can remember the taste right now. I don't have a memory of value for myself in my head. Is what you're what you're teaching me? Not memory. Not a, a memory. Realization. A neon. A neon. Yeah. A neon. Yeah. So to to get this thing out, root and stem, I you must have. I a, don't a, believe a, that I will ever have it. Of course not. Oh. I mean, of course you would believe you would never have it because you've never had it, right? It's like, it's not as simple. Like, it's hard to understand or believe that you will ever know what a strawberry tastes like. I don't have taste buds. That, so, so there's another piece of this. So the first is that we can cultivate a practice for you where you develop a sense of self outside of mind and hopefully have a realization of your true self. Ooh. That's something we can do. The second thing that we can do is understand if you've had some kind of experience or nyan or some scar of being valueless. Wait. Other people feel a value of themselves. What does it feel like? The same way. I mean, like, what does strawberry taste like? It's. You just know that you have a value. Yeah. So, and this is complicated, but close your eyes. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of painful to think that I don't have this thing. You really have a thing. You can feel a value of yourself. You could just taste it. You know. Y yeah. Analogy. Yeah. I don't have it. Here's the thing. It doesn't taste what people think it tastes like. That's what I would say, right? So people build up this image of what it feels like. But I absolutely have nyan of 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 my value. And the thing is, it's not really value. Value isn't even the right word, but like value is like the closest thing in the mind. So I want you to close your eyes. I, I'm not ready. Okay, I'm ready. What were you feeling, Reckful? I don't know. I was feeling sad that I don't have any value to myself. That I can't. That is it. something you should be sad about. Yeah. Let's let's. And I. I'll close my eyes now and do the thing. That's okay. Let's just talk for a second, if that's okay with you. I just. It, it's hard for me to just <laughs> let that slide unless you really want me to. Let's let it slide for now. Okay. So close your eyes. I want you to find the moment where inhalation becomes exhalation. And I want you to try for nine breaths and make them as slow as possible. Good. Notice the feelings as they arise and return your attention to the breath. There is a tsunami of sadness inside you. And I want you to breathe and notice that in between space. You don't have to push the tsunami away. You can let it come and just breathe. Find that moment between inhalation and exhalation. Find the parabola. Be patient with yourself. If you have feelings, let yourself feel them. And then return to the breath. Push nothing away. Let it wash over you. Let the feelings arise. 
There you go. Now you're doing it. Right. So continue to find the parabola and zoom in a little bit more. Slow down time for yourself. Rectful, what I'm seeing is someone who is sitting in a place where they're meditating and looking for their breath and all around them, volcanoes are erupting, earthquakes are happening, lightning is striking, and tsunamis are happening. Feel all of those things and find the breath. It's okay. Give yourself some time. Feel them. Find the breath. Good. Eruptions will come. Let them come. It's okay. We're here. Twitch chat is with you. I'm with you. <laughs> Twitch chat is with me. <laughs> you see? Having pog or something. They I are close. with you, though. I hope they so. are with you. You are not alone. So return to the breath. A ray of sunshine. Cockpog. Cockpog. <laughs> now return to the okay, breath. I'm just, I'm just going to not... mention it's very hard not to get distracted by <laughs> Harvard P fucking PhD psychiatrist saying cockpog. It's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. Return to the... Good. <laughs> Find the parabola. <laughs> Can you say cockpog again? Sure. <laughs> okay, later. <laughs> listen, l listen, listen, listen to the sound of my voice. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I'm sorry, dude. You just listen. I, I'm so distracted. Okay. You got to close your eyes. They're closed. And listen. Cockpog. So usually, Cock usually um, in between the emote and the phrase, you would put a little cock pog you know there's like a little pause. like a rooster like that's what we're talking about no, right? there's, a, there's a bit of a pause to let it be known that don't it, think it, about what i'm saying listen cock pog not okay cock pog because cock pog could be one word <laughs> it's not a cock pog it's a cock pog you know what i mean okay now return good now return to the breath gotcha Beautiful. So notice notice the parabola, right? There's the inhalation and the exhalation. The inhalation and the exhalation. You really like that I use the word parabola or you're just using it over and over for fun. I think it's a very good way of describing with vidya, nyan. That means you understand it. That means you have nyan. Dude, nyan is the coolest now, feeling. And as... Focus, Rekul. Eyes closed. Don't reflect on Yan. Just focus on the parabola. Okay. And in the middle of the parabola, zoom in now. This is your, your three more breaths. In the middle of the parabola, ask yourself if the person that is noticing the parabola, does that person have value? My instant answer was no. Two more breaths. Okay, I think. Now open your eyes. One more. I think it's hard as someone who's attempted suicide to find value in yourself. What did you feel? There's a reason. Don't presume an answer. Tell me what you felt. I didn't feel anything. So this is going to sound kind of weird. Did you find value in yourself? Yes or no? No. I, I stopped do feeling you, things. I was feeling things. It was erupting, like you said. 
And then I stopped feeling anything. And you were unable to find value in yourself, correct? Mm -hmm. Is that a problem? You're telling me it is. And I, it sounds like, no, 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 I'm not. What, how does it feel in that moment to be unable to find value? Is that a problem in that moment? Did you feel distressed? No, I was okay. How is that possible? How can you be okay when you look within yourself and you do not find value? Because I'm just conscious and not thinking. So if I'm thinking, it's not okay. But if I'm not thinking, well, there's nothing to worry about then. Yes. It doesn't mean that you're worthless. It doesn't mean that suicide is a good idea. It doesn't mean that you won't hurt people. But at its core, what you are feeling transcends the concept of value or, or lack of value. It is just what is. Consciousness. Pure and simple. Mm -hmm. There are eruptions all around you, and there is a person who is meditating on a rock. And you can find that person, and you cannot find value, because value in and of itself is of the mind. True. And you can be peaceful in the absence of value. Mm -hmm. Train yourself to be peaceful in that place, and whether you feel value or you don't feel value, underneath you will be tranquil. You don't need value. Because value is a feeling. It comes and it goes. It is not nyan. What you just experienced is just a fraction of nyan. Practice this every single fucking day. Get good at it. And you will be a changed person. Find a place of tranquility and stability amidst everything that is erupting around you. And you can fucking find it. So let's say I'm alone... This, okay, most of my daytimes, I really enjoy the day. I wake up and Good. It's, ni it's nice outside and I go for a walk and I've been uh, been taking Good. little pictures and videos and you know how I like photography and just, just, just loving life. Good. Okay. And then I, I uh, come back from my walk and I just work on Everland for a while and I love that too. And all the people I talk to, I, I love them all. Then nighttime rolls around and then people stopped working on the game, which is reasonable. Uh, then I um, try to transition into a different, I mean, I'm, I have to transition into enjoying something else that's not walking outside in, in the sunshine, which I like, or working on Everland, which I like. And then I don't have anything to do when it's nighttime. So I'll message, uh, reach out to a lot of people to, to hang out with me. And uh, I'm really overbearing about it. I'm just like, please hang out with me. Like, I'm so fucking bored. Like, I was messaging Greek, my friend. I was like, please fucking hang out with me, please. And he's like, I'm really busy. Like, tomorrow I have to do something. I have to do this. I'm sorry. Like, I, I really love you, but I can't right now, you know. And that's reasonable, what he's saying. But I'm just like, so desperate to hang out. I just want something to do at nighttime. And I, it's scary to be there. And I'd love to be able to go into my own world like this and, and be okay with being alone. I don't know that I could reach, achieve it, you know. Well, I beg to differ because you say like this. Yeah, but I'm right. You I'm can't it with use guidance. that. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the point is that you're doing it. Yes, but I don't, you're not saying I don't believe in myself. I don't believe in myself to be able to do it alone. Fine. Forget it. Forget about forget about all that. The the one thing that I want you to point out is before you were talking about hypothetical, you were saying, I wish I could find a place like that. I wish I could have what you have, and it's sad to not have it. You're saying, I wish I could be like that. I wish I could have that. And now you are saying, like this. True. It's a good step. Very important step. In fact, it is the only step. Oh. I'm getting somewhere. You're getting everywhere, Rackful. Wait, I'm making progress. This, something. you're already there. Do you understand what the word this means? This means right in front of you. Yeah. It means not far away. That's true. Mm -hmm. You have just felt it. 
-hmm. You need to cultivate within yourself the capacity to get to the state over and over and over again. It's hard for me to get that myself... takes practice. Yes, it's hard for me to get myself to sit down and just breathe when I'm feeling overwhelming loneliness. It's just like my brain is just yes. throwing all these and thoughts. They're so strong. There's just so many. It's just telling me like, why are you alone? And why does no one yep. want to hang out with you? All thoughts, all thoughts, all thoughts, not consciousness, not consciousness, right? So train yourself to be in consciousness. Practically go to a yoga class. Do you do yoga? No, but there's actually a yoga class immediately next to me. Very So close. go to a yoga class. But I want to go with someone. Enjoy... I don't want to go by myself. I need to have a friend okay. who want to go. Okay, so start going with a friend, but at some point you got to start going by yourself. I can't do it yet. Okay, that's okay. So you'll get there. Right? You'll get there. And be patient. This was a good talk today. I know it's not over yeah. yet necessarily, but... I, I, no, I think I, we're I, at a good stopping point. Yeah, I made some good progress. and I, I feel like I yeah. need to relax. Be patient with yourself. Be forgiving of yourself. Be compassionate of yourself. I hope people... And remember that within I, you... I really hope people watching benefited also because it's yeah. cool. It makes Just feel, remember... It makes me feel cool that... That's such a shitty thought, but it makes me feel cool that I'm benefiting someone else. It's not a shitty thought. It's not a shitty yeah. thought. It's fine. Yep. Um, I think what you're maybe feeling sad about is that that's the way that you, you can't see value for yourself in order for you to like make this worthwhile. Like It has to help other people, which on the one hand is noble, but... You know, you're so I just want you to have this like just it, sear this image in, in your mind, Reckful, of you sitting among because you were there, man. Like, I don't know if you know this, but you were there. Volcanoes, lightning, tsunamis, earthquakes, cock pog, cock pog, cock pog, cock pog. all around you, cock pog, right? There's no, the funny thoughts, it. I'll tell you later, and okay. the devastating thoughts. Mm -hmm. Right, we need we need a pause. All of them are there. The we, and, we need... and, and the breath can be found between all of it. It doesn't matter. Cockpog is bad. And no. earthquakes are bad. We can't have any more cockpog. So, you wouldn't say meditation pog, breath pog, right? Breath pog. Oh, pog, breath is good. You know, meditation pog, right? Not meditation pog. So we need cock pog. We need the pause. Can, can we get someone to just clip him saying, we need cock, and then the pause after it. Just stop the clip right there. I, I, I stop it here, actually. This is where you stop it. All right. <laughs> it was a good session. I hope everyone had fun watching. And Dr. K, I love you. I love you too, man. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. All right. Strong work today. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Oh, it's just me. Hey, guys. I guess I don't have to turn it off immediately, but I will in a second. I will see if you guys said nice things. I don't feel super comfortable. A lot of parts. I'm up. Two hours. Okay. I, I um. If I, it feels really like even if and if I look like I'm feeling shitty, it feels like I'm getting somewhere. I'm making progress. It's like a, I'm leveling up. It's good. Uh, I uh. I'm, I'm I'm happy that that's happening. Who should I host? Who deserves a nice, friendly host from a bunch of everyone in, who is actually still watching is probably a pretty fucking wholesome person, right? Who deserves a nice host from a bunch of wholesome motherfuckers? I wonder. I think Forsen is my favorite human. Okay, I'm going to host Forsen. All right. Guys, um, I am doing a stream tomorrow with Pokimane again. Uh, I'll see you then. I don't know what time it is. At. You could check her Twitter or my Twitter. We'll figure it out. And then on Sunday, I stream every Sunday. Um, have, a, have a good rest of your day. And um, hope you have
you're feeling a little happier. See you guys.